today, we're honoring those who have served and protected our country. We are commemorating Veterans Day today since it falls on a weekend this year. News 6 photojournalist Marcus White takes us to Lake County where leaders unveiled a new Veterans Wall in Tavares. It's an honor to be here to uh, celebrate and salute all of our veterans. Thank you very much for your service. As we gather here to unveil a veterans wall that pays tribute to the brave men and women who have selflessly served our nation. This wall is not just a collection of names and images. It is a testament to the sacrifices and unwavering dedication of our veterans. Let us honor and pay tribute to our brave veterans. I hope they're thinking, thank God for those on that wall, because see, those are people who, in this county, from this county, who served, and, and I hope when they see that sign, it, it dawns upon them that this, these are the people who pay for our fr freedom. It is a reminder of the price of freedom and the importance of recognizing those who have paid the price on our behalf. Let us remember each service member's selflessness, dedication while protecting this great nation. I think it's, it's wonderful to recognize the veterans on Veterans Day, but to have such a wonderful monument dedicated to them, it makes it even that more special. And that was News 6 photojournalist Marcus White with that great mm -hmm. report right there. Well, the city of Orlando will honor the courageous men and women of the armed forces at the 24th annual City of Orlando Veterans Day Parade. News 6 anchor Crystal Moyer and traffic safety expert Trooper Steve will be there bringing you the highlights. We're going to stream it live on our News 6 Plus streaming apps and clickorlando.com. It all begins at 11 o'clock tomorrow morning.